It's like a battle between Venus and Mars for the heart and soul of Mother Earth for all it's worth. Oh Lord, let us all win. And please send more help. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the button, baby. When black holes collide, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thor News Super Solar System News, where I cover all the news that is fascinating that happened in the last week or so. And you know I didn't cover it all. I just cherry-picked some special stories that were very interesting, but not interesting enough to be their own video. Uh, or to provide cover. Hey, look, ladies and gentlemen, we have Venus Veritas at NASA. I repeat, we have Venus Veritas from NASA. I repeat, we have Venus Veritas from Venus from NASA. Wait. So we're looking at planet Venus, and she sure looks a whole lot like Earth. But do not let the false color of infrared throw you off. We know, asterisk, we know that Venus is a hellish place with 400 mile per hour winds, volcanoes that fart pure acid, iron, and uh, they mention the wind? Yeah, and you can't grow plants there? Um, but you can grow airplane noise here. Thank you, airplane man. All right, so yeah, it looks like, Venus looks like Earth with Swirling clouds, atmosphere, land, water looking stuff. But the big trick with Venus is that she is definitely the most McDLT of all planets. And I hate to use the same joke over and over and over, but I'm sorry. It totally applies this time. You see, the side of Venus that faces the sun, always hot, baby. And the side that faces away from the sun is always cold, baby. So yeah, maybe only half of Venus has a bunch of life on it. And look at that yellow line. It's at the flip side, equator. We all know Venus is an all day, every day Armageddon. It's impossible to land on. It ain't even worth trying or talking about it. But man, I don't know. I don't know if SpaceX or NASA take suggestions from the public, but maybe you'd send a bunch of CubeSats. How many would you need to wait? Not a bunch, it's like four. Uh, wait, that just felt like a really bad idea as soon as I said it. Anywho, yeah, Venus looks like Earth, but it's not. It's Earth's twin, but female. Wait, Earth is Mother Earth. Jupiter's a dude. That's true. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Hey, ma'am. How are you? Are you aware of planet Mars? Ooh. We got some flip skipper port jumpers. Star chamber in it across the sky. I totally made that up just because I like to say the words together and chain. Thought they'd sound cool. That's totally wrong. Don't hold it against me. I mean, you can if you want. All right, so here's the deal. Hey, remember planet Mars? Famous for its red dirt. Well, I got some wonderful news for you. I have pictures of that red dirt. Technically dunes. And the thing that makes it so awesome, the thing that makes it make Thor News Super Solar System News is the fact that those dunes are frosted. That's right. I smell a breakfast cereal. Commercial Angry Birds opportunity right there. If you can make that cereal good, you probably build two telescopes. Why is all this cube sats gotta be cute? Why can't we have a ball sat? Crap. All right, here's the deal. So yeah, Mars is still orange, red, or brown. We'll get back to that. I really only get into Mars, A, because I can't get out of it, and B, for its new modern mythology narrative. And photographs. Are they fake? Are they real? You be the judge. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter, man. It's not like you're gonna go there and have a coffee tomorrow, or even in the teens or twenties. Asterisk, I don't know shit, I can't predict the future. Well, I know, giant mother ships could show up in the sky and be like, hello everybody, you guys like snow cones? <laughs> it is so hard to find something fresh these days. Comic books used to create their own mythology, and nobody was burning torches in their front yards. But now, you can't write no new fresh mythology anywhere. And uh, that's just an interesting fact that we will just Put up on the board, 2016. I mean, times really have changed, people. According to Marvel, Disney, Thor is a woman, and Captain America is a Hydra agent. Let the strongest mythology win, because it's different, ain't always better. But hey, how's the weather where you are? Okay, this thing is way off the rails. Okay, now we got to Pluto. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Pluto, be still my beating heart. Pluto has a beating heart. I gotta totally say that one way better. Watch this. Be still my beating heart. Pluto has a beating heart. Yo, dude, that shit better be real. And not just some fancy rosy. I'm a scientist talking about science, but I'm gonna use words that don't apply whatsoever in a scientific way. Man, you know, cause I'm gonna be pissed off. I know you don't like it when I get mad. Might calm down. <laughs> All right. All right, Pluto has a flat side and scientists cannot explain why. Oh, they'll be able to eventually. All right, this sounds boring, I know. But no, these are dragon scales. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have dragon scales on Pluto, or Pluto is 
partially made up of dragon scales, which is excellent news for Thor news. That means that we have officially proven the sun is a phoenix egg, and now Pluto is a dragon egg. Oh, and look over here. You can even see the dragon brain. That's pretty cool. Man, like Tyrion, I think dragons are awesome. I don't fear them, but like the ocean, I'm aware of how powerful they are. Oh wow, that plane is flying a hologram banner. Radioactive heating is causing cells made of polygons on the surface. And aren't polygons the things that make up pixels? Well, I mean, it's a polygon made out of ones and zeros. It's like if you're gonna build a house out of ones and zeros, polygon is a framework? I don't know, man. Scientific shapes is not my number one area of expertise, but I promise you I will get better at it. I believe it's called geometry? Alright, yeah. I blame you, John Stewart. Calculus. Alright, so these dragon scales are basically cells made of polygons on the surface, caused by radioactive internal heating. So we got internally heated radioactive dragon scales that are cells made of polygons. Crap. Never. Maybe. But no. Dragon scales. Flat sides and scientists. What does that mean? I don't know, that's what we're gonna try and figure out. Have patience. And what's fascinating is that each one of these cells is doomed. Oh wait, no, I meant domed. Getting domed is like getting moated, but different. All right, maybe no, okay. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Johnny's size boy would be good. Each cell is domed, unless it takes two shots to the dome, then it's doomed. Oh wow, wait, that dome is a brain. Sluggish lid convection sounds like sexy scientist pillow talk. I could be totally wrong on this one. Cause I just have the birds with me, not the bees. But I do have the traffic in the trees. It's a beautiful day. All right. I wonder if they can take a picture of a hot dog and then tell me what is in it. You know, like that hot dog is 1,752 billion light years away. And that hot dog has a 33% iron core with traces of methane, oxygen, dark matter, and uh, we found a new element. No, they really did. I mean, they, they said they did. I can't stand track. I'm sorry. So let's get to the real science. We're talking about ice volcanoes and gravitational lensing. Can somebody please explain an ice volcano to me? Hey dude, in the plane flying by, can you please be kind enough to stop and explain to me how an ice volcano would work? Uh, he dropped a banner that was a hologram that said, <clears throat> It would basically be like when you left a bottle of beer in the freezer. It froze and then busted. Well, I mean, that still doesn't sound like a volcano. But well, I don't know. Maybe. No. Alright. What have we learned? Venus is green. Pluto is a dragon egg. And Mars has tasty frosted dunes that are good for you. It's science. Yeah, Mars is like so fast. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. White spots. Aren't that weird, man? Give me something good or lose me forever. Yes, that was a tongue-in-cheek Quentin Tarantino in that movie referencing the Top Gun thing. And that bird was totally cracking up as he flew by. All right, Blue Beetle. You better jump on the Venus Veritas bandwagon because it is way more interesting than Ceres. I mean, Ceres now barely ranks ahead of 67P. I really try to say that seriously, and I fail. I am. We're gonna put the Star-Lord back in Star Wars, and then we're gonna end all wars with a great big party where everybody's invited. Everybody goes, and everything is great. Sounds crazy now, I know. Give me a little time, and a few more cosmic rays, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Tell them. So, all right, what am I doing? This thing is not going. Okay, no, seriously. Hey, blue pill, Phil, if you take the red pill, hop over to Venus Veritop. All right, blue beetle and booster go one to twin power, activate. Come on, let's go. Asteroid, oh wait, this whole story is asteroid bird footprints. So now Sirius has the giant oceans of water on the inside. Asterisk, you know, like, that's funny. That would make it like a chicken egg. If chicken eggs had water in them. Now it's got asteroid bird footprints. So yeah, space is like a giant ocean that you can fly in, or move, or groove, or float. I know, I never been, you never been, I can't verify, you can't verify. We're basically just sitting around the campfire, telling stories. Hey, what's causing, what's causing the cool stuff on Pluto? Science will say ice. What's causing the cool stuff on Mars? Science will say ice. What is causing the cool stuff on Venus? Science will not say ice. I just thought I'd point that out. Seven degree super solar sundog. Science will say ice caused that. See that giant magic circle in the sky? I did that. I'm like, what are you talking about? Crazy. And WTF is extreme ultraviolet. All right, so there you go. Solar system news. Yeah. Great. Wonderful.